Right, one quick video before I go. This is the Loggy Old Churchyard. I've taken pictures and a video of the Viking Hogback gravestones. Lots and lots of old ones as we can see here. And as I pointed out earlier, <coughs> lots of different symbols meaning different things. This little angel, I think I'd done the front of this one a minute ago, little angel faces with the wings and all the symbols. There's egg timer. So the sun's gone in now. So this is just one quick little video round. As I go round the Dunstervilles, there are Dunstervilles and Grahams here. Um, there's Hendersons as well. I mean, obviously there's loads of stuff I could do. It's not as if I'm just going to be able to pop there and do it though. Here's the Hogback Viking gravestone. The long shape, sloping at the sides. There. And here's a larger one which is broken up. And it's been put together next to Cochrane. J. Cochrane and J. E. Addy. J. E. D. And Bryce and Agnes Bryce, Margaret Bryce and James Bryce. So there's a Bryce in somebody's family, but I can't remember who. Right up in the top there, we've got the James Dunsterfell Graham with quite an elaborate stone up there, which I've done a whole video on. That's him. And the chapel itself, this ancient chapel built in the time of King David. And it's got relatives of Jack, Lucy and Joe on there. There's another Bryce. I can't remember where the Bryce name came in. But I'll just have to know. Anne Bryce, wife of Charles Johnson. Yeah, there's a Bryce. Somebody's got a Bryce in their family. But without having access all the time, I, I can't really... Um, say who it was. So there's lots of old stones here, there's probably a lot more relatives here. It's like Borough Green when you get there everyone's related, everyone married everybody else. So I just come back for another quick look because I might not come back again but my your descendants or relatives, cousins might do, they might not. But I've got you on record. So if you fall apart and disintegrate, I'm going to make sure there's a record of you. I'm sure other people have done it as well. Now here we go. I had to make sure I got that done. More disintegrating. This is where they need the money, you see, for essential repairs, like to walls and things, you see. Apparently, the abbey I went to today, designed by David the First, they recently they have found some gold coins there. So that's interesting, isn't it? So once again then, this is Loggy Old Churchyard. Kirk Loggy. I'm recording it. There's the old cottages and the old, go round the back there, you come to the castle, 
where a lot of these people lived and boated in that lake by the way right then over and out I'm gonna miss these cinders I have to watch it later look at these lovely little flowers oh they're pretty like large buttercups with a tulip look aren't you I want to sleep now for the night. Pretty pretty. I haven't seen them before. Or if I have, I haven't noticed them. Oh, there's more of them there. Scottish flower. I ought to take one home, really. Mind you, sometimes you take things home, they're poisonous. I just have to be careful. Right then. <sighs> Taking this one home to keep. I think. I have to wash my hands so. I don't like pinching flowers really, but I ought to have one. Sample. I'll probably sneeze all night now. Alright, so this is the big wall of the walled garden. That would have been of the castle, by the way. Although the castle itself wasn't vast, there was probably other buildings related to it here. So this is family history that I'm doing as I walk down this lane that the Grahams and the Dunstervilles would have done, also come down to get to the castle, probably. Now there, there is other entrances. There was like a small lodge that I didn't really take much notice of. Um, over that way somewhere. But the grounds are beautiful and I do hope the other cameras captured it all. So this is Sheila. I think it's the 15th of May 2014. I've spent several hours on that little chapel. And the graves in there family tree has come alive today in many ways it's been very good we've had the ancients and the not so ancient over and out